dear friends our topic of discussion is limit test that comes under the pharmaceutical impurities fifth unit so come towards the limit test limit tests are quantitative or semi quantitative tests designed to identify and control a small amount of impurities which are likely to be present in the substances they involves simple comparison of population stability or color produced in the test with that of fixed standards some of the limit tests are performed in a special apparatus known as nasal cylinder so this figure represents nasal cylinder which are mesh tubes of clear colorless glass with a uniform internal diameter and a flat transparent base they have the nominal capacity of 50 to 100 ml size so limit test for chloride principle this test which is mainly used to control chloride impurity in inorganic substances depends upon the simple reaction between the silver nitrate and soluble chlorides to give insoluble silver chloride in the presence of dilute nitric acid the insoluble silver chlorides makes the solution opalescence and the extent of opalescence depending upon the amount of chloride present in the substances is compared with the standard opalescence produced in a standard solution having a known amount of chloride by adding silver nitrate and same volume of dilute nitric acid as used in the test solution if the opalescence produced in the test is less intense than that of a standard opalescence the sample passes the limit test for the sample passes the limit test for chloride and vice versa dilute nitric acid is used to prevent the precipitation of other acid radicals with silver nitrate solution it acts by providing common ions for example nitrates so method according to ip 1996 a specified quantity of substance is to be examined is dissolved in water or a solution is prepared as directed in the individual monograph and transferred to a nasal cylinder to this solution 10 ml of dilute nitric acid is added except when nitric acid is used in the preparation of the solution and the volume is made up to 50 ml of with water then 1 ml of 0.1 molar silver nitrate is added and the solution is stirred immediately and allowed to stand for 5 minutes protected from light any opalescence produced when viewed transversely against a black background is not more than intense than that of obtained by treating a mixture of 10 ml of chloride standard solution that is 25 ppm chloride and 5 ml of water in the same manner so this is the method for preparation of standard chloride solution that is 25 parts per million chloride dilute five volumes of a 0.0824% weight by volume solution of sodium chloride 200 volumes with water so this was all about limit test for chloride now come towards the limit test for sulfates so the principle the test is designed to control sulfate impurities primarily in or inorganic substances and is based upon the simple reaction between barium chloride and soluble sulfates in the presence of acetic acid to give insoluble barium sulfate the opalescence produced in the test is compared with that of standard opalescence obtained from a standard sulfate solution containing known amount of sulfate produced in the same manner if the test opalescence is less intense than that of standard opalescence the sample passes the limit test for sulfate and vice versa so the solubility of barium sulfate precipitates are very much affected by the concentration of the acid so the acidity of the solution is controlled by using acetic acid ethanolic solution 
इथेनोलिक सल्फेट स्टैंडर्ड सॉल्यूशन दैट इज 10 पीपीएम सल्फेट इज एडेड टू इंक्रीज द सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ द टेस्ट द आयनिक कंसंट्रेशन इज एडजस्टेड इन सच अ मैनर दैट द सॉल्युबिलिटी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ बेरियम सल्फेट गेट्स एक्सीडेड एंड ट्रेसेस ऑफ बेरियम सल्फेट प्रेजेंट असिस्ट रैपिड एंड कंप्लीट प्रेसिपिटेशन बाय सीडिंग इथेनॉल prevents super saturation and helps in producing a more uniform opalescence method according to ip 1996 take 1 ml of a 25% weight by volume solution of barium chloride in a nasal cylinder to this add 1.5 ml of ethanolic sulfate so standard solution that is 10 parts per million sulfate mix and allow to stand for 1 minute add a stand add a solution of the specified quantity of the substance being examined in 15 ml of water or 15 ml of the solution prepared as directed in the individual monograph and 0.15 ml of 5 molar acetic acid make up the volume to 50 ml with water stir immediately with a glass rod and allow to stand for 5 minutes any opalescence produced when viewed transversely against a black background is not more than uh, is not more intense than that obtained by treating 15 ml of sulfate standard solution in 10 parts per million sulfate in the same manner so preparation of 25 percent weight by volume barium chloride solution dissolve 25 gram of barium chloride in sufficient distilled water to produce 100 ml the method for preparation of ethanolic sulfate solution, standard solution, dilute one volume of a 0.181% weight by volume solution of potassium sulfate in ethanol, that is 30%, 200 volumes with ethanol. Preparation of sulfate standard solution, dilute one volume of a 0.181% weight by volume solution of sodium uh, potassium sulfate in distilled water 200 volumes with distilled water so this was all about limit test for sulfate and chloride these are the references which have been gone through in the next topic we will cover limit test for iron and lead thank you for listening thanks